In this video, I'm going to show how to select, cut, copy, and paste data tables in the Vim editor. Vim is a fancier version of the VI editor. It's used primarily for programming. And so I'll start the Vim editor. I'm on a Windows 10 computer. Vim is available on all sorts of platforms. It's originally from Unix. So it's available on Linux computers and other Unix computers, Mac OS X, and many others. So this is how it views it. It's a very simple, fast editor. One of its advantages is it comes up really quickly. It runs almost everywhere. And what I'm interested in learning how to do is to select tables of data from documents, from text documents. Cut and paste those. I'll show doing it within the editor. And it can also be cut within the editor or copied within the editor and then pasted into other documents like spreadsheets. Now the issue is a lot of times the tables are embedded within text. This is a very simple example, but we don't want to take and copy this as a test or random text or all done or any of those. We just want the rectangle. So what I'm going to do is type control V and that puts it in a rectangle or column select mode a block selection mode. See, so it says visual block in the lower left corner here. So I've gone over there, and what you can see is it has selected an area uh, which is rectangular. So you can select columns of data, essentially. So in Vim, I can type Y to yank, and that will make a copy. It hasn't deleted it. And let me put it in its insert mode. I'm going to create a large region to copy it into just to make life easier to illustrate it. And now I want to do hit the escape key and P and there it pasted it in. So I used P, I typed P on my keyboard which is a Windows keyboard to paste. Now Vim and VI have two modes or actually other modes as well. They have an insert or append mode so for example if I want to add something here I can do that. See we're in insert mode and I can but I can also take it out of that insert mode by hitting the escape key and now we're in the command mode, essentially. So let's show this again. I'm going to show the same thing. I'm going to do a copy and paste first. So again, I hit Control V, and you see Visual Block appears in the lower left corner. And you can see what it does is it selects rectangular regions. And in fact, I can select the region I want. So again, I'm going to use Y, which is essentially the copy in Vim. There we go. So now I've copied it. I have that in a clipboard. And again, I'm going to make life easy for myself by creating a region to paste it into. And now I'm going to use escape to get out of the insert mode. And then I will hit P to do the paste. All right, so that's how you select something. You copy it and you paste it somewhere else in the document. Now I'm going to do a cut and paste. So again, I'm going to do control V to start the visual block, the rectangle column selection, which allows me to select the data table. And now I'm going to hit D to delete it. So I've actually deleted it, as you saw. And I'm going to go into the insert mode and create a place for me to put it. And just for fun, I will move this over here. And now I want to get out of the insert mode. Notice in the lower left, you can see insert. I hit escape and then I hit P and there it is it appears again so there I have cut and pasted it let me do a little bit of uh, experiment here we'll see what happens here and I'm going to paste it again back where I deleted it and notice it inserted correctly now I can do the same thing again so I can hit control V visual block so I'm going to show the cut and paste the delete again we'll go here and we'll go down there to collect that. Now I hit D for delete and that actually cuts it and then we will try a little bit fancier tr trick here just to show so I'm in the middle of this rectangular space and I'm going to hit P to paste and notice what it does is it pastes over the text in that rectangular region and so it actually went right in the middle of here and it displaced the lines that were here over to the right, which you may or may not want to have happen. Let me do show it one more time I'm in a simple way. So I'll open up a space for it. Now I'm just going to put it here. Maybe we'll indent it a couple, and then we're going to get out of the insert mode into the 
command mode, and there we are. There is the information in the clipboard. That's how that's done. This is how you select, copy, cut, and paste data tables in Vim. Once it's in the uh, clipboard, you can also paste it into other documents like spreadsheets or word processors or a variety of documents that will accept the data and just this data. So in this ever-increasing data-driven world, as they say, where people are using data to justify whatever they want to do and even actually trying to genuinely analyze the data and follow the objective evidence, a, a rare but important phenomenon, uh, this helps us do this more efficiently. And this concludes this video presentation. If you like this video, please click like. Please click subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to receive more content from us. You can avoid internet censorship by subscribing directly to our RSS news feed. Please consider sharing the link by email and on your website or blog, in addition to liking, upvoting, or sharing on increasingly censored, advertising beholden, big company social media. We have encountered such censorship. Mathematical software is developing algorithms and software to automate data analysis, reducing the risks of costly errors, and increasing the predictive power of the results. You can support our work financially by subscribing on our Patreon page, https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash mathsoft, or scanning the QR code in the lower right corner.